Now, everybody, here's the thing. Um, when you're kind of stuck or lost or don't exactly know how to do the calculations to get it done, but you know what the problem's about, is it safe to say that sometimes you might want to use the answer choices as a means of getting the correct answer? And my brain isn't braining. But okay, so I see a, a lot of us here are saying yes. And again, my question was, is it safe to say that there are times when you read a question, you read a problem, and although you don't know how to get it all done and prove the answer, you know how to use the answer choices. So let me show you how that would look in this specific scenario, but I'm also gonna show you how to do this front to back as opposed to using the choices. So I'm gonna show you both ways. So first things first, we have to understand what it is that we're looking for. Not part of people in a couple of words, very short. What is it that we're looking for in this particular problem? What are we looking for? And Brian, let's keep the conversation focused on today's class. That kind of uh, spamming is going to get you kicked. So small number. Okay, great. So keep it simple. Keep it right there. Keep it to the point. We want to know what the smaller number is. What is the smaller number? Sounds good. So right there, let's write that down. Everybody, yes or no, did you understand that from the very get-go? We want the smaller number. We understood that from the very beginning. Yes or no? You know, even if you were confused, even if you freaked out, even if you hate this problem, did you understand that you're looking for the smaller number? Ah, I see some people noticing. Hey, as tough as a problem might seem, there are steps and strategies to help us get further along in the problem. So I, I really, really want to make sure that we understand that. As hard as a problem might seem, nothing's stopping you from reading the question and saying, what's the smaller number? Cool. I don't know how to do it, but I know I'm looking for the smaller number. Mass bad party people. Hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept, from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible. And we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. Step two, what's the information I have? Let's see. Step two, information. I see that the two numbers add up to 40. Okay, my party people, is it, my brain is now braining. So is it fair to say that what that means, if the two numbers add up to 40, is it safe to say that the small number plus the big number equals 40. Is it safe to say that? Exactly. This is going to, we're almost to the point where we are going to exclusively point at these answer choices and say, wow, this is the one that works. But you have to understand what the problem is saying first, right? You have to understand what the problem is saying to know how to use the choices themselves. But there it is. Small plus big. Yeah, that equals 40. Now, here's the next part. In green, it says one number is six more than the other. So right there in green, one number is six more than the other. So with that said, is it fair to say, thinking about it logically, 
that the bigger number is the small number plus six. Is that fair to say? Is that fair to say? Is that sensible to you? Again, I'm just asking you one question at a time. So is anybody here starting to see how this problem is coming together or at least how the pieces are laid out now? Is anybody seeing that better? Because again, that first sentence in blue, highlighted in blue, two numbers add up to 40. Okay, small number plus big number, 40. And then the second sentence said, one of the numbers is six more than the other. Okay, so that means that the big number is just the small number plus six. And all we did was write that out in math. We turned the English into math. If that is something you are not particularly good at or a natural at, please write this down in your notes. Translating English into math. That is a skill that is essential to any sort of power score on arithmetic reasoning. You know, if you want to guarantee yourself a good score on the ASVAB for the arithmetic reasoning, translating English to math. That is a skill you must have. You must work on for every topic, every single one. So here's where we're going to use the answer choices. Everyone watch this. Remind me, if I were to look at any one of these numbers, what do each of these numbers in the answer choices, what do they represent again? What do those answers represent? Help me out again. Santiago says the smaller number. Is that true? Ah, I see a lot of people agreeing. That is correct. These all represent the smaller number. So these are the possible answers. And again, these are the small numbers. So what am I going to do with that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to test and see, hey, if my small number is 17, let's try this one out. If 17 is the small number, just take a look at the information you have. The small number plus the big number equals 40. And the big number is six more than the small number. Everyone, if the small number is 17, what's the big number? What's the big number then? If the small number is 17, what is the bigger number? Just add six, right? Just add six. It says it right there. The big number, take the small one, add six. So if we have 17 as the small number, well, my big number has to be 23. If I just add six, the big number is going to be 23. Yes or no? Do we all agree with that? How I came to that conclusion? I really want to make sure that this is making sense. Because we know that, again, the big number is six more than the small one. We can say that confidently. But that wasn't the only thing that was true about this problem, was it? Yeah, sure. The big number is six more than the small number. But what was the first fact that we drew out of this? The big was small plus six. What was the other true fact that has to be true about this problem? Yeah, they have to add up to 40. My party people, quick question. Do 17 and 23, do they add up to 40? Do they add up to 40? They do. They do. So we followed the rules of the question. The question said the bigger number is the smaller number plus six. Okay, so in this case it has to be 23. And then we added the small number and the big number together and we got 40. Everybody, is A the answer? A is the answer. Now, I'm going to mark it as the correct answer, but now allow me to show you why B, C, and D are actually wrong. Let me show you why those are wrong. So yes, this is going to be the correct answer, but let me show you the next one here. My party people, again, the answer choices over here, those are telling us, again, the possible answers. We already took care of the first one. We found that it made sense. Let's try the other ones. Let's show that they're wrong. So let's try 15 right over here. Let's try 15. If the small number is 15, everybody, what, is, what does the green part here say? One number is how much more than the other? What does it say right there? 
right? One number is six more than the other. So for those of you that were confused about where the six came from, do you see now that the six comes from right there? The big number is the small number plus six. Let me know if you see that now, if you were confused on that before. And Selena and, and uh, Saif, I'm really excited to show you guys that way too. Okay. So in this case, the small number is 15. So what would the big number be in this case? If the small one was 15, the big number, if you add six, what's that going to be? What's 15 plus six? 15 plus six in this case is 21, right? 15 plus six, 21, cool. So what happens, everybody, if we add 15 and 21 together? Again, it's supposed to add up to what? What is it supposed to add up to? What is it supposed to add up to? 40, right? What does it say, guys, right here in blue? Two numbers add up to 40. Two numbers add up to 40. Let's see if that's the case here. 15 plus 21. What's that going to be? 36. Is that the correct answer? No, because it doesn't follow the conditions of the problem. The problem says they're supposed to add up to 40. I tested that theory out with the choices, and this one says 36. Everybody, is B the answer? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not the answer. So does anybody here now see that in this particular case, if you understand what the rules of the problem are, you could definitely use the answer choices to your advantage? Are we starting to see that? Bruce seen a little better there. Lewis kind of. Again, it's better than before. So I like that. Sounds good. And so for those of us asking, the name of this unit is unit seven for arithmetic reasoning unit seven for arithmetic reasoning this is systems of equations this is one of the harder topics on the asvab but definitely a rewarding one if you know how to get it done because it can show up in a lot of different topics so we could definitely use the answer choices we could definitely see what's going on what's the problem with that well you have the potential of wasting time everybody did we get lucky that the first try that we did was the correct one. Did we get lucky? Yeah, we absolutely got lucky. We can't lie about that. We got lucky that the first answer was the correct one. So we didn't have to go to B. We didn't have to go to C, didn't have to go to D. But what if the answer was D? Well, then we'd be wasting time doing A, then B, then C. And so we need to know how to do things the right way. Allow me to show you how this would look once again, once you're done with the math basics and you've had some time in this particular unit, this is how the setup would look. Allow me to show you by copying this page. That way, right there, and we can keep that there and let me show you exactly what we can do to do things the forward way. Watch this. Let's be real, my bad party people. You're enjoying this YouTube video but why don't you join me for a free class? I host a free class once a week for two hours. So imagine two hours of free ASVAB math instruction by yours truly, where you get to ask questions, grow with me, raise your score, and get the job you want. So go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free. And from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. Everyone, let's say we got two numbers. I'm gonna say we have you know, uh, S for the small number and B for the big number. Is it okay with y'all if I say small plus big equals 40? Is that true, everybody? Yes or no? Is that true? Great. And then the next fact that we know is that the big number equals the small number plus six. Is that also true? Great. Sounds good. So anybody who's worked on this topic already, can you tell me what the technique is that we're about to use to solve this system of equations? Who knows what technique we're about to use? Starts with an S. Landa, you know what you're doing. Jocelyn, you as well. Substitution. We're gonna be using substitution. So here's how substitution works. Here's how substitution works. 
Everybody, does this B here represent the big number? Okay, yeah, simple question, but I'm glad you answered. Yeah, that B represents the big number. Uh, is it also true that this B right there represents the big number? Okay, so if I'm saying that small plus big equals 40, but I also know that the big number is the same thing as saying S plus six, small plus six, is it true that I could replace the big number with the small number plus six? Is that true? It absolutely is. It absolutely is. This is the second way of doing it. This is the more traditional way that will help you solve problems more complicated than this without breaking a sweat. So here's how this works. And again, if you're not here yet, if you haven't finished the math basics, totally fine if this confuses you a little bit. But what we're gonna do now is we are going to substitute S plus six for B. That's all we're going to be doing. So right here, let me put an asterisk right there, right there. We are going to replace the B right here with S plus six. Look at how well this works. I'm going to just take this right over here and I'm going to copy this over, paste it right here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take this, move it over a little bit, but I'm going to replace that right there. Hey, you, you're gone. And I'm going to place this in. Everyone, are we cool with that? All we did was we replaced the big number with the small plus six. They are technically the same thing. We said it. They are technically the same thing. Because we did that, now we're in a fantastic position. Because think about it. We couldn't do anything with this because, well, guess what? That's two variables. You can't solve an equation that has two variables. You can't solve this one either. B equals S plus six. You have B and S. That's BS. You can't solve an equation that has two variables. So now when you look at this though, you have S plus S plus six equals 40. Now you only have one variable. And now this is solvable because everyone, S plus S equals what? Hey, no worries, Christina, I got you. Yeah, so S plus S is going to be 2S. Think about it like this. If you had X plus X, that's 2X. If you had R plus R, 2R. B plus B, 2B. Not B squared, not S squared. Not, no, 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 no. We're not multiplying. We're adding. If you add this and the same thing together, you have two of that. So S plus S is going to be 2, 2S plus 6 equals 40. All we have to do now is solve this equation. And again, if you haven't finished the math basics, this is going to feel particularly tough. But now all we have to do again, like I said, is solve and we're done. First step, what do we do? For those of you who do know what's going on so far, what do we do? Right, we'll subtract six from both sides. That's right. Subtract six, subtract six. Boom, that's gone. Let me use a different highlighter color. There we go. And now we're going to have 2s equals 34. Now, don't freak out. I know some of us are going to see 34 in the choices and go, whoop de doo Hey, coach, there it is. Well, guess what? I programmed that answer in there because I know some of you guys are going to freak out and choose it. Now, let's go ahead and finish because we're not done. It's not s equals 34. It's 2s equals 34. So what do we need to do as the last step? Brendan, quick on the trigger. I like that. Landa, Kaya, Sean, divide by two on both sides. Watch this. Divide by two. Goodbye right there. And that's going to be S equals 17. Exactly what we found earlier done in one cohesive shot right there. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, 
and I'll see you soon.